Hello. Is that the mic? Yeah. 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 Everything is working. We are streaming. I sorry for the long lead up folks, but I was trying to get a bandage off a kitty who definitely didn't want adhesive taken off all his fur. Oh, Vit, when you're watching this. Well, I guess you'll know tomorrow if I've succeeded or not. I did not succeed in going all the way. Uh, he was fighting me tooth and nail. As is his want. Uh, hello, this is Pokemon. Not a game about cats, a game about fake cats. Who sometimes look like people and uh, sometimes say Pikachu. Do I need to? Oh yeah, okay. I, I heard that the camping is cook is good in this game. Um, no, everybody's good. So this is my lineup. I have Borb, Dog, uh, Nikki, Nickel, Shooty, Squicks, and of course my starter, Sad Boy. Um, I'm making ample use of the extended keyboard. Uh, some of the characters that are on the uh, extended keyboard do are not allowed, but it's kind of a game in and of itself to figure out which of the, them are allowed and which are not. Um, obviously there is no D that is allowed. There are a few Ds, but uh, not allowed in the, in the name thing. You cannot have said Sudsploit. Uh, oh, oh, a thunderstorm. Look at that. Okay, yeah, so this is the newest Pokemon. Uh, this is like the main feature that I guess that it has that's different, which is a giant open world area. I have not played a Pokemon since the very first one on the original Game Boy. I think I played it on the Game Boy or the Game Boy Color. I can't remember which. I had a Game Boy Color at some point, but I don't know when exactly. Like, I believe I played Link's Awakening on the original Game Boy. But it's kind of tough to say when I made that transition. Um, but then I never had any handhelds until I got a 3DS a few years back, but I didn't. I still wasn't. I didn't know. The Pokemons then didn't. They were, they were a little bit too intimidating, so I kind of like this roster reset that I guess they're doing with this game, where they instead of including all of the Pokemon from the previous games, which I guess they did before. The, not a mechanic or a, a feature that I have come to expect since I only played the first one, and they were all original, so I do not mind that they're all original in this game and it doesn't have to support every single other monster that they've ever thought of. Because that's kind of... Uh, it's an unfortunate corner to paint yourself into, creatively. So I'm glad that they broke away. Also, um, I don't know, I, I, it's because I'm not really into the Pokemon series as a whole, I, and I've played so many RPGs, uh, that, like, I don't know, I don't have a lot of time for the dialogue in these games, because uh, as far as I know, it's not super charming or super well done, the way something like a Phoenix Wright would be. Um, it's just, like, pleasant and there's you know some good stuff here and there but not super critical especially in the beginning okay so this is the professor uh... see that's that's funny being an adult has it's got its own challenges eh Wait, is the professor coming with us? I'm confused. Why? At least my um, outfit that I've chosen matches the professor's hair. I think I got that all without ever uh, meeting this character.
cool. See, there's so many, like, quality of life features that I feel are like, oh, it's like this thing you did before, but it's better in this and this way. But for someone who'd not done a lot of this stuff before, it's just like, what? I, I don't, these are details that I do not need, nor do I care about. This is the start of my adventure. I have a full squad. I am ready to catch some Pokemon and battle and, um, I don't know, have a nice time, I think. I would like to have a nice time. The walk speed is slow, but I guess you really are just, okay, so I need to catch one of everything that's sort of implied in the game, right? What? Binding is good. I, I, I think I remember it's like basically the exact same game. It just looks a lot nicer, and the looks that sounds fantastic, honestly. Ooh, um, yeah. I think we got super effective. See, we've got to try to catch them, but if we don't, then this Pokemon is gonna beef it. Now, someone please DM me or whatever. Nope. I There's like some technique that I do not know. Board beefed it. Oh, do I need to catch a mating pair of each? Because, I'm gonna be honest, that's a little weird, but also... Sure. It just doubled the amount of work I have to do. I guess... Was that in the first one? I don't... Yep. Stupid ass B. I think I have to press A in time with the um, light pulses. That's the catching mechanic, as far as I'm guessing. But I can't always be bothered, to be honest. I guess it's part of the fun, but I wish it was a little more active or involved. You know who didn't level up was Borb. Um, water falls. I mean, it's the same thing, right? I like the little pixel art. Uh, interpretations of them on the left there. Oh. This is a cool 
almost human. Just gotta say. It's a little weird. Let's try this new skill. Whoa. Let me try it. No. See, I, I pressed the buttons, and that time I got the Tyrone, which is definitely what I'm going to name this Pokemon. His name is. Uh, oh, come on. Are there no. Oh, that's. The, all of these are unused, but it wants me to press L3, a button most people don't know exist, to change the case. But, great job, Nintendo. Great keyboard. Okay, it's just a permanent zoom. Yeah, come come at me. Come at me. No, no, no. Uh Is this Yeah, level 26. I think I should It's a very cool looking bunny. I like the design. Oh, I can press X to just throw a ball. Oh, you know what? I actually never said I was live on the chat. Oops. There we go. Uh, get some good camera angles while I was somewhere. Wow. It's not... not going well. I feel like this might be not... not the matchup. Yeah, let's get the, the squirrel out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not bad. Try biting. What? 
I do not understand. Yeah, just try this. Oh no! Yeah, this is going terribly already. I should camp. I, I don't know if that brings people back from the dead. Try this. Sometimes you're just not meant to catch them. Also, I'm probably terrible at this game. So it looks like people, even ones who don't uh, contribute in battle, will get experience, but I bet there's like, if they do more, I'm not, I didn't see that, I thought it was a camping thing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just go into this town, I guess. What can I do? Can I camp anywhere? That's fantastic. Oh, the ones who are dead are not here. I would like to quit camping immediately. Well, it does look cool. I'm, I've got little Nintendogs um, hit, but I don't know. Press the wrong button. Again. I've been playing a lot of Death Stranding, so I'm not used to Nintendo controls right now. Again with the whistle blowing, and I'm just like looking for a run button. Okay, that's cool. I don't know who you are. I want to change my tent color. Probably based on whoever's like the first in your party, a little bit. Ooh, wow, this looks cool. Is this supposed to be the town of Stoke? Uh, that's a hot jam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my headphones up. Okay, now it's kind of lost me, but I like that, that opening. sure what they mean.
Ah, yes, this is what I need to do. This is what I'm here for. Yes, champagne bubbles. I'm just OCD, I gotta clear all these notifications if they're gonna do me like that. Yeah. This is, this is what I'm here for. I think this one, absolutely. Let me see if I can... This is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that that's right. as big as possible. <laughs> yes. Print it. Print that motherfucker. <laughs> this is fantastic. Check my boxes. Tyrone... You will become... Yeah, get the bird out of here. Please tell me that took effect. And wasn't just cancelling out of my decision without giving me a prompt. <laughs> yes, Tyrone's there. Good. Who is hot? Why are there two of you now? Ah, huh? oh, fuck off. This was never... I don't... I can't... What? Get out of here. Are you basic huh? man? Yes. Hello, I would like... Nothing? Actually,
Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, I think there was a Pokemon tending bar in the corner, but we're just gonna let that slide. And I guess I see shinies. Let's try and get through um, some more story stuff before heading back out in the field to, yeah, because I think we're still in the tutorial. We're still in the learning about the game stage, uh, so, you know. A little slow if if you know what you're doing and I guess I don't really know what I'm doing but I prefer to learn what I'm doing by doing it rather than reading dialogue just because there's so much dialogue to read in this life um, dialogue that's serving a purpose I have no time for only dialogue that builds the world or says something or just has no purpose at all anything but here's how to play the game I know how to play game I am game Still no Muta sightings, which, uh, yeah, he's still mad at me. I should try and bring him out just to let him know we're not mad. All right. I don't know, it seems like they might want me to do some actual learning of how to play the game before I... Like, are they asking me to do a gym battle? Is this the first? I don't know, maybe I'm worried because of Death Stranding. Um, but it's like, do I have to internalize all of the game's mechanics before facing the first boss? We'll find out. Okay does seem to be a stadium. Can I have a map of this town, please? Or is it just... Well, let's, let's find out together. What is... Oh, well. What's going to save? <laughs> My mom. Your mom. The whole... I wish I could go back and... Every time there's a dialogue box like this is my killer feature that I would like to see in future games maybe I'll just implement it I'll just like write some dialogue solely to implement this feature is what I would like now and you can do this I know in like uh, Baldur's Gate style games like Pillars of Eternity and such it's like you can there's a log um, where you can scroll through to see everything that's been said prior to the current moment but what I would like in these types of, like, the Japanese classic traditional, here's a dialogue box, speaker, text, just give me a back button, please. Like, there's a forward button. Just let me, like, don't, don't make it as prominent because you really want people to be tapping through this and reading deliberately. But sometimes you, you just press an extra button. And sometimes you, you think something's funny, and then you think, hey, I should screenshot that after you press the button to fast-forward it. 
such as that that's really why i was uh making this uh, grandstanding point is that i just wanted to screen cap my mom your mom the whole world <laughs> but i don't know such is life okay i'm gonna save here because this does seem like but also i don't know how like is there only one save and it's going to overwrite as soon as they go in here. And if so, is there going to be a difficult boss battle that I will not be ready for? Because I did nothing. I caught Tyrone and that's it. Okay, here we go. It's introducing me to a core mechanic of the game, which is like finding other people to f battle. First time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Hmm. If this game had a really cool story, Leon would be really sinister and turn out to be a big villain. I don't know, that might still be possible uh, within the scope of this PG. Kind of need need something with a little teeth even to get ten year olds. I, is this game for ten year olds? I'm not really sure. It seems like it's for thirty year olds who. Well, I, I'm just influenced by what I read about what uh, Alan Moore said about superhero movies today. It's just like it is for twelve year olds <laughs> or people who are like miss the security of being a child, which is absolutely true. My uniform number. Oh, this is where everyone was entering 420 and 69, which is good. But uh, let's see. I always had the jersey number 13 um, in like when I did the high school sports, when I was forced to do sports for those three years. Uh, so I'll, I'll stick with that. I was thinking 33 because I like that number even better. Uh, 13 and 33 are both great numbers, but I don't know if it's going to be my uniform number, if it's going to be my sports number. Uh, it would seem to make the most sense to do my actual sports number that I used to have. Because I'd, I'd never do a 33. My school couldn't afford that. We already had a 13. I was like, yep, sweet, I like that number. Hotel rooms? What is happening? Like, I'm the most privileged child in the entire world. Look at me, I'm just like the preppiest fuck. I guess there is no poverty in Pokemon. Which is... Chill, I guess? This is kind of a weird neoliberal nightmare hellscape. There's a lot of fashion choices in this game. And this one is the one I would like to talk to. Positively criminal, someone wasting the time. Someone like you wasting the time of someone like me. That's a weird Neapolitan Pikachu. Okay, I I, I guess I could uh, just go check out my hotel and then go off to the back to the wild area to maybe get slightly 
better at the game. The music is like in bang though. I mean, sometimes, most of the time. Yeah, just give me that fucking sax. The, the Mario Kart music. Mario Kart 8, specifically. The synth that was killing me. Yeah, so this is where I sleep. I have to get better shoes. Maybe this uh, town will. And also a better bag. This town should hopefully have some options. Oh, plot! Is there is this the Team Rocket introduction? This is just a good song. This is super cool. A harpsichord. Yeah, give me all the details. I'm not gonna read them, but... Oh, I should have. Yeah, see, I want to go back again and screen cap the previous one. Because, like, this game is definitely about Brexit. A sword and shield. The statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had, and what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks with it uh, being called the Darkest Day, but still. Huh. Uh, I'm not gonna keep reading. Because I think we're just done with the plot. <laughs> right now. Yeah. Uh, I was listening to a um, podcast with... Oh yeah, uh, Tanya Short from... Kit Fox earlier today, and she was saying something Christine Love told her about uh, their game Boyfriend Dungeon, which is just like um, the consequences of your choices in the dialogue. Like right previous to now, I had the dialogue choice between being, I guess, uh, supportive and worried. You know, I could be like, you're going to be all right, or will you be all right? Um, and I, it seems like most of the dialogue choices in this and in a lot of Japanese RPGs, such as Dragon Quest, uh, they have a lot of dialogue choices, but none of them actually do anything. Dragon Quest is kind of notorious for having a lot of uh, yes-no questions where the no always just forces you, it like gives you a line of flavor and then forces you to do the yes. But here, it's just kind of like, express yourself, and then n no matter what, it'll be like, maybe you'll get a response, or maybe not. And it'll just proceed, but you'll have made the choice. And so, what Christine Love was saying was it doesn't matter what the um, consequences, you don't need to tie mechanics necessarily to the choices that you make. It doesn't have to be a Paragon Renegade thing in Mass Effect terms. Uh, like, it doesn't have to be a, a morality system. You don't have to, like, influence anything with your choices. Just interacting with the system uh, in and of itself is satisfying. Uh, like, you know, 30-40%. Like, people enjoy just making choices for the sake of making choices. Uh, expressing themselves 
for no consequence. Um, and maybe there can be a little bit more strength to that than uh, necessarily fretting over what is this going to mean for the rest of the game, like, is and needing there to be some kind of uh, deeper mechanical connection. Like, sometimes it's just good to choose between, you know, do you want to ask a question or do you want to affirm? Anyway, that's my spiel. Here's more story. Team Yell. Confused. It seemed like he wanted my help. I like his pose, though. Damn. I'm just gonna do that again. So there's a real struggle in this game, like, every Pokemon trainer you face should have a full complement. Like, you should both have, like, be on equal footing, uh, mechanically speaking, like, but you have a complete advantage not only in terms of the number of Pokemon, I guess that changes for some boss fights, um, some gym whatever, but, like, I, I believe you can still just, like, we have a huge advantage in terms of being able to use items and healing items and just like have an infinite supply. Uh, just about. Maybe I'm confused. Maybe I'm also. Um, digging this game too much and not realizing what it's actually supposed to be trying to do. Oh, hello. See, it's level nine. I should have just used it again, and it would have been over already. Whatever. <laughs> okay, I guess I have two more to uh, battle. Ooh, this is a, might be a new feature. This looks cool. 
I'm like easily impressed by a slight spectacle. Two on two. Oh, fucking every time with the sheep. God damn. Gotta do everything. That was a critical hit? Nice. Nice. That's their whole turn. I'm not all about this, like, leveling up in the middle of a battle. It's very odd. Sheep roll! Yes! My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. <laughs> yeah, that we're not going to forget to screen cap. I just ruined her goddamn day. Don't feel good. That's well, the Neapolitan Pikachu. This is cool. A bit shirty. This game is very much written by an English person. So now I go to my room to sleep. Well, I guess this must be over my room. See, I'm just doing what I would do like if I were in a hotel in real life up on the TV. I just try everything. Is this not my room? I'm not even totally sure what I'm supposed to be doing. They're just letting me into anybody's room. Cool. Thank you, random man who let me into his room. Never heard, or well, yeah, heard that before. It was just like a confirmation sound that you've reached the edge. I guess it's like to let's go here, and then you interact. Why do they let me into these people's rooms? Also, I love the Dragon Quest it's completely trained me to like try and check every fucking cabinet. Also, Dying Light. Hmm. 
did I not check in? After all this, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. This guy's always on a race, and no one ever asked him if they wanted to participate. I hate him. Would you like to be my rival instead? Well, yeah, it seems like you would. Allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. Am I supposed to be good? I hope this is one of those situations where they're just gonna like make you lose intentionally. It's gonna be like one of those unbeatable bosses and I'm like, you're supposed to die. Because I did not prepare for this in any way whatsoever. Also, I don't know why I'm stressing up about the challenge in a Pokemon game. I'm gonna let this song pop a little bit. I'm going to take a quick break to check on my boy. Um, yeah. BRB.
All right, y'all. I may need a second longer. As, as I showed on the camera, two seconds ago, I got the bandage completely off his uh, his foot, his back foot. He's a little bit non-compliant, so need some time to wipe up all this blood. Be right back.
that was great. It is great, just, yeah. He's looking at me now. Oh, but we're done. He knows he, he got some blood out of me. He's happy. It's just, uh, I mean, they didn't really make it easy on me. Also, they didn't call me to tell me to do it because I didn't even notice. They just gave him back to me in a box and I didn't really uh, take him out till I got home and then I didn't look at him enough, I guess. So it's see that he had a bandage on his back leg and then they called me like two hours after the point after I had left. And we're like, oh yeah, uh, by the way, don't forget to take off its bandage. They didn't say it was time sensitive or anything. I don't think that would have been any less attached to his fur earlier in the day. It's just kind of a big deal. Would have been nicer to get it over with earlier, but whatever, it's over with now. Don't think I'm still bleeding, so that's good. Okay. I was like, there's gonna be some uh, Olympic opening fanfare kind of stuff. Yeah, this is what I'm here for. I didn't realize I was part of it. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me, I think. Is it on auto advance? Is there supposed to be voice? It feels like... I mean, if they're gonna class this as a AAA product, 2019, they should probably have voice in these key story scenes. Like, if it's gonna auto advance as if it was voiced, Utterly bizarre. Oh, that's the buff girl. We're missing one, so there's one that they're they're not proud to call their own. There's one that they don't like. I'm super confused at what's going on in the plot. You invented the Dynamax.
feel like anyone in this game could turn out to be an evil, uh, an, an antagonist in the, some kind of darker children's story. But because it's so pure-hearted, none of them will be. And the there is going to be no actual enemy. Okay, here we go. Just a paragraph is like, so listen up. If you don't know how to play the game already, here's what the fuck we've been talking about for the last 15 minutes. To earn a gym badge, you have to complete that gym's mission and also defeat the gym leader. Chill. So I can just like, leave now? Winning on that pitch as the crowd goes wild sports. Fast travel. Got it. the right way to go. Town map. There is a map. Fuck. It's the same map that I hate. So, can I easily go back out into the wild area? Seems like it. Slug and there is no run button. There's no speed modification. As far as I can tell. Now it's raining. Cool. So I want to get these red things. It's a four player raid. I don't understand how I get other players. Um, in my game, I don't see them. It's not an MMO. I guess I just uh, look for a group on that thing in the hope that other people are over Ging on it to you. Nice. That was not very effective. Hmm. I think I might need to read a wiki or a guide in order to play this more effectively because, like, for instance, just getting. 
other uh, Pokemon seems rather difficult. Well, that was it from you. Hope you get more experience. Let's keep doing that. Do not understand. Maybe I'm just supposed to use the numbers. It maybe it just takes three sometimes. It is. cheeks. Um four dollars. That's that's his name. I can't change it. Four dollars. Is that Broke's name? <laughs> That's a good name. I was gonna do something else, but that just... I mean, when it came to me, it came to me. I don't know what this tadpole is, but I guess I got to destroy it. Or turn it into a giant sexy frog, because that's how this game seems to go. Okay, right, let's go, Tyrone. Do the punching. Like it just has hands. Not going well. Huh? Sophie, you wanna come sit on the couch? All the drum is over for the night. Hopefully. I guess that's still up to me time. No, 
Oh, it's on these claws. Oh, spicy lady. Good choice, baby. Yeah, you know when the camera's on. Not bag. Fight. Quick attack. Okay, now I'm gonna do the beat up again. That should be good. I'm gonna throw you in this ball. But yeah, it feels like that's a weak type. done a home console Pokemon. This, this is why it's got me interested more than anything else. Um, are there any peas? No peas. No weird peas. Percentage sign. Another solid name. No, I want to go up there. Where do you? Oh, I do not have... <laughs> Isn't that a real animal? That's bad. Huh? Yeah, let's get the dog out. That sucks. This is not going well. Might get him one hit. Yeah, 
You want to come up? You want to say hi? Now that you've drawn blood from me? had a hard day, haven't you? He went to the vet this morning, but he's doing real well, so, you know, we just gotta finish everything, and then he'll stop screaming at us, and then he'll just turn out to be a sweet, sweet man, once he stops screaming at us. Love to scrum. No! Well, whatever, it'll be a lot of experience. Uh-huh. What are you? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you can, actually. Maybe we're not supposed to be in this region. But I want the shiny. I saw, I saw what was hiding in there. I just need to keep swapping them out, I think, to keep their XP boost going. Also, how I remember playing these games, I don't know, I was literally 11 or 12. I don't, I don't know exactly, but it's been a while. Does that count as a critical hit? Not very effective. Alright, Tyrone, you got one shot. Make it count.
really. We need to get back to town after this, just to heal up. Or let me try the the healing, the camp thing. Let's just I'll bite back. Like, it's probably more effective to just use the Pokeball. Like, I don't know if I got the gender right to pair, but I can just... Well, I don't know if I can sell. But it feels like you should sell. I'm gonna name this one Skell because I want to sell it and because its name starts with an SK. Rude. Okay, so there's a limit on those things. I learned a thing. Uh, get away, fiend. I must not look at the map. I must camp! Fox loves it. Cook up a fine curry. Start cooking, please. I would like to see your mini game. I like the it takes like half a second to make. Actually, I don't think I like it. I think I hate it, but I don't know. Well, I just I feel I need to comment on it. I'm going to say that the like half a second it takes to do a thing to mark a thing from uh, like new to like, so you can't just do this through a menu, you have to, like, go... Uh, I get what they're trying to do. But... I hate it. I'm really not sure. What I'm supposed to be doing. You just have to use all of the ones you can. I'm sorry. Nope, just a button. Motion controls do not work with the wire controller. Weird mini game. Just with berries?
restored by half? Yeah, I think that's just that's terrible. I might be wrong. I'm, the, the attack might become super valuable when the when that uh, Pokemon is high level, but right now it is awful. Oh, not what I meant to do, but. to run away. Okay, everything is strong. I get it. Seems bad. Good. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Uh, although I do want to take a long way because the map. Nope. Wow. Terrible. Hello, person. Cool. Some items are easier to get through max raid battles. Yes, we'll shake this twice. Yo, you look cool. I did not mean to go through the grass. It's cute! I think grass is really good against us. Uh, water. From what I remember, so... This is not gonna go wrong. Well. I do not have a balanced team, and I suppose that upsets me. And that's what I need to build. I guess that's the fun of the game, is like putting together a really good lineup. Along with training up your current one. What is effective? against grass. We just need the chart. Chart. But I've always kind of uh, hated like Magic the Gathering or any other game where it's just like rock, paper, scissors, but nine dimensional rock, paper, scissors where it's like, oh, well, there's just 12 types and 12 types and these are effective against these and slightly effective against these and like, sli and it's just like, okay, it's just a spreadsheet. You just like have to interpret the game into an Excel document in your brain. And I, I get 
why people like it, and I suppose I've liked those a lot before, but I don't know, it just feels wrong to me to design that or to enjoy it. I just, it just doesn't feel good. That's all I can say about it. I'm trying my best, I'm staying open-minded, that's why I got this game. Uh, because I don't, gen I genuinely do not, like, Persona is one thing where it's like, tied into a larger system that uh, is affected by a lot of the other mechanics in the game, whereas this is like purely mechanical battles uh, that are also, well, it's just like an, an absolutely known possibility space, all of the battles, because it's a competitive game. Like, it's not in this sense, but it is theoretically in the game world, and also it has become one in the multiplayer, I guess. Uh, but the thing is that, like... Yeah, I just don't know if it can support that, because it, it, it has to be a known quantity. And also, because it's a known quantity, that makes it slightly more boring. I don't know, it, it, because it's a turn-based thing, so like it, it makes the uh, possibility space much more discreet uh, than something real-time like a Dota, which is just like improbably infinite in terms of what can happen. Uh, Pokemon seems dumbed down in that it is so clearly rock, paper, rock, paper, scissors, on paper, times, I don't know, it's, it's rock, paper, scissors squared, I think is the, probably the best way to put it, or at least it was, but I, I don't know, I think they're doing some things with this generation that mix that up slightly, or at least shine some light on because it's nine-dimensional, because it's squared, there are going to be some uh some elements that are or some interactions that are less highlighted than the mainstream ones that are like previous uh starters or like focused on you know the elements that you would normally expect a earth wind and fire plus um earth wind and fire plus water of course Obviously, that's the other one. And wood? I don't know. Sometimes wood. It's like ghost Pokemon and poison Pokemon and stuff. That's why, I like, I made my... Uh, uh, or I guess they showed you at the beginning of this game, which I did not stream, which is the uh, choosing of the starter Pokemon. They are slightly all more esoteric, even if they have that primary grass, uh, fire, water. It's like water, poison, fire, something, grass, something, grass dark. I remember that because I was like, that's very strange. Grass dark. Uh, secondary types. And I guess that's just how you deepen a simulation. But the fact that it's got to be competitive at the end of the day, and it, it is such a discrete closed system, where it's always just one-on-one, -on -one, or I guess it's not one-on-one -on -one because there's um, trainers versus wild monsters. It is, it's an interesting, like, there's a lot of meat on those design bones, but I, I honestly, I... The fact that it, it is so hedged in seems slightly uh, unattractive. As speaking purely as a game designer. Although I think I'm getting to an. I'll, I'll, my views will change. And perhaps I'll stream some more of this as my views change. Or as they don't. And I want to, like, double down on this and lecture. Uh, why. The, the closed mechanical system, as much as you want to deepen it, because it is closed and has to be known and has to not be completely overwhelming in its depth, is... Um, what 
it will I, I don't know I'm not gonna say it's unsatisfying but it, it leaves a taste I just want to, like... I will destroy this onion. Never mind, this onion will destroy me. It really shows what I know. I guess I haven't actually commented. Um. Since the last stream, was it two, three days ago? I completely got a haircut and shaved. I was a long haired beardy man. Three days ago, and now. It's funny how quickly things can change. Almost did it as a way to prove that to myself. It's just like. Kablow! In a day! 24 hours! I think it actually took me longer to actually get the haircut from when I shave because uh, when you go six weeks between shaving, it can take a while for some reason. a good battle. Uh, um, I think I oh, there's only one name twelve. Okay, 12 characters. Onion. Space. Time. And I have two characters, so. Onion time. Oh shit. Oh no, no, no. See, that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the town. And then I think I'm actually gonna end the stream. I seem to be hitting a good stride in terms of talking too much about game design, which is ultimately. I guess one of the purposes of these streams, uh, but I did start this stream quite late, and I do need to be getting to bed in order to, uh, you know, be a normal person who goes to work at a semi, very semi-reasonable hour. Can I just... I'm gonna try it. Oh, I just got a very loving text message from my one true lady. Yvette, I love you so much and I'm gonna text you soon and I'm gonna see you also soon but not soon enough. But I am always thinking of that. And. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Anyway, Yvette, I love you. I'm gonna see you soon. And I'm gonna try and 
catch one of these cute little buggers and then I'm gonna go to bed so that I can be all good when I hang out tomorrow night. Yeah, let's get, I mean, get on their level. I just, I love the eyes. Oh, it's not that it's weak, it's just that attack it was super strong against it, and it was also from my highest level character. Well, I might die to a Diglett. Okay. Nope. Let's do it. I left the tuba in there. Um, okay. Let me get back to town. As Wild Air. I'm digging, like, the whole structure of this game. Oh, uh, I think we're just gonna call this one Diggums. Because I genuinely love it, and I want to protect it. Um, but it, like, I think this open world area, there's a lot of work obviously to be done, but this if this is the future of Pokemon games, I fully support it, because this is the most interested I've been, clearly, in a Pokemon game in about 20 years. I want that crab, though. Um, however, I suppose there's a lot to be left to be desired, too. Such as my bag choice and my shoes. And also a lot of core mechanics and just like this is the most game design. And it's interesting that it's such a like a kid friendly uh game with ultimately not a lot of difficulty because there are so many mechanics. And I think it it's kind of like a really good introduction to a lot of game mechanics for a lot of folks. Because there's just so goddamn much. And so by playing this, you will, like, internalize more systems than you would starting out with other kinds of games. Necessarily. Especially now that it's a little bit more open, open world. Like, this is the thing, is like, for as big as this game is, it should be twice as far along as, as it is. Like, this should be the third console generation game. Um, but you know what? I'm a firm believer in better late than ever. So, I'm glad that they're doing it. I dig that they're throwing everything out and starting new. I wish they had done that more in general. But I recognize that that's uh, kind of a daunting task for a company that needs to ship a game every year. And as long as they continue to do that, they'll be a little bit more Call of Duty and a little bit less recent Assassin's Creed. To speak the parlance of extreme modern video games. Anyway, clearly I need to go to bed. But I, I've enjoyed checking this out. This is what Pokemon is. I enjoy the red post boxes. 
I've been enjoying the character as well as the mechanics of this game. I'm gonna have a lot of problems and I'm gonna be able to talk about them now. A lot of people will probably wish that I hadn't played this game because they will be tired of my opinions about this game. Uh, bef like, five seconds into me saying anything for the first time. But, that's Pokemon. People have entrenched views. People, uh, both ways. It's, it's very sacred and profane. Anyway, that's the warning sign. I'm going to bed, y'all. Good night. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope to see you all again soon. I don't know what I'm going to play. I've played a lot of new games recently, so I'm going to try and uh, get to something. Maybe maybe do pick up one of these series besides Indie Stravaganza. Like, do a strategy game. There's a lot of Northgard, a lot of Battletech, a lot of stuff out there I, I haven't done. Still need to get the chat on the screen. I was supposed to do that for this one, but I did not. I, uh, you know, did all the hair and shaving instead. That was the choice. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm actually really interested in what I'm going to stream next. You'll find out with me. Alright. Have a good night, y'all. Please take care. Goodbye.